So this is where we arrived at late last night, about 10 o'clock, to this air paying one this is. So rock up to the gate, touch the screen, tells you all the info you want, put in your registration, get your ticket, barrier opens, choose your pitch. You got electric hookup, you got your fresh, your grey and your black, all part of the price and this time of year 13 euros and what was it 72 cents? 13 euros and 72 cents which is a you know weird kind of number but there you go and you have to pay by a bank card only but their food services come around as well so there's your tariff so 13 euro 72 for low season 16.82 mid season 18.92 for high season there's wi-fi payable if you want that that's a touch screen okay choose your language knows the vehicle's not here so yeah and these are the uh, services that come in food baguettes croissants yeah and there's a paying service euros. point if you just want to pull up and service your vehicle two euros wasn't it for 20 minutes four, euros. four years 20 minutes it's quite a lot when there's three ones right so yeah barrier opens in you come it's really well laid out All the pitch is separated by bits of wood, so you know, guide you in. They all seem quite level. Well, our one ones, there's a few that aren't, obviously, but yeah, it's nice. I say, we woke up to this this morning and yeah, happy. We tried to get in a, a different one down the road. It was absolutely chocker and they were all side by side. There was no kind of pitches laid out like this. And it was just like a huge car park. It was right on the beach, but it just looked and felt, you know, just ragged, to be honest. So we chose not to stay there. There was one space we could have got, but it was, yeah, not great. So another 12, 14 minutes down the road to this one. There was a few spaces, so we got one. Excellent. It's a lovely day, so. Yeah, we're going to get the chairs out. We're going to sit down and chill. Have a rest day. So we set off yesterday at midday. We didn't arrive here till just after 10, so 10 hours driving. Had about an hour's stop. Went to a shop. Dog stretched their legs. Loaded up with fuel and carried on, but we had, we had accident, diversions. One of the diversions routed us through Bordeaux, which was Friday afternoon, horrendous traffic. So yeah, but we got on with it. And now we're ready to relax, a couple of days of enjoyment. I think the weekend's gonna be nice weather, so. What's not to like? Dogs are loving it. Lisa's loving it. I'm loving it. Right, onto the beach. Catch you later. So, Andres. We are Andres, we are Campio. Boom, 300 meters to the beach. And this is the beach. Obviously it's still not high season. Pizza place isn't open. Ice cream shop is there. Oh, yeah. At least it's noticed the ice cream shop's open. So it's going to be a lovely warm day. T-shirts are order of the day. Dolly loves sand. You found sand, Dolly? Paradise. Paradise. Pretty cool, isn't it? 
Oh, look what else they do, Dave. Shiro's. Shiro Maison. Shiro's house. Right. Let's go and look at this beach then. Dog's not allowed, so you go to the left or the right. So you can't go straight down this bit. So left or right. Dogs are only allowed beyond the orange and black striped panel on a leash. So one way or the other, but let's just stand at the top and have a look first. No. Oh, the cafe's open. The cafe's open. Might have a coffee in a minute. The Atlantic Ocean. Look at that one, it's surfers paradise. It certainly does. <laughs> oh, that's a decent beach. All the way down to the Pyrenees in the background and just in front of the Pyrenees, Biarritz. That's a good stretch of sand, that. So, here we are, in the sunshine. So, we're traveling down towards Spain, we're about just over half an hour from the border, so probably going to cross that tomorrow afternoon. Um, spend a couple of days here, it's lovely weather, nice beach, chill out for a bit, have a lot of driving, cover a lot of miles in a short period, uh, period of time. Cover a lot of miles in a short space of time. Um, we're travelling, as you probably know, with our two beautiful Staffordshire Bull Terriers, who are peaceful, placid, wonderful creatures. We love them, obviously they're ours, but they are really good, well-behaved dogs. And was it the year before last, they were voted the nation's favorite dog. So they are, I know they get a bad rap. So we looked into bringing them abroad. Um, we did all the usual dog things that you do with any kind of dog that you have to have done, rabies check, the AHC, that. So we did all that. Um, then they have to wear muzzles. So we bought muzzles for them. They've never worn muzzles before in their life. So obviously they're, feel uncomfortable with them on um, but if it makes other people feel comfortable when, they're, when they've got them on then that's fine that's fine by us we'd, we'll do it obviously we'll, we'll, we'll do the right thing and we just walked the dogs up to the beach it says dogs to be on a lead at all times blah 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 so we've got them on a lead like we do we walk around the corner and there's a lad sat, sat there with a an English bull terrier beautiful looking dog only one year old but off the lead came running over really spooked these two they didn't react they didn't bark they didn't growl but it was a situation that you thought whoa hang about that dog isn't muzzled it's the same kind of dog it's a locked jaw we do the right thing with ours and and that happens off the lead all the irresponsible owners and it just makes you think they've got muzzles on if a dog does attack them but how can they defend themselves how can they help you know get that dog off they can't so yeah you know, just have to be aware. Travelling with staffies, owning staffies. As soon as you buy a staffie, you're on a you're on a loser. You're on a minus one. Um, some people just, you know, have the wrong idea about them. It's the owners, not the dogs. But we've still got a lot of travelling to do. Two more countries to go through. I'm sure we'll have a lot more experiences with the dogs, good and bad. A lot of the experiences we've had so far have been really good. They've been welcoming places. Uh, people have come up and stroked them, loved them, so they yeah, they are aware that they're a nice dog. Um, it's just the owners sometimes. Yeah. Catch you later. Off we pop to the shop. Yes. So that birthday yesterday. Ten hours in a car for your birthday. So 
about a mile up here is Le Shop. Look at another motorhome. One thing I've noticed as soon as you get onto the continent, motorhomes everywhere, isn't they? Yeah, every other car. Absolutely yeah, everywhere. Vehicle. Every village, every town accommodates for them. It's great. It's like you belong rather than being frowned yeah, upon. Really yeah, such a difference. Oh, well, that was good. Nice oh, walk in the uh, 20 degree heat. To find that the shop doesn't open until four o'clock Monday. So, no milk. No milk for Lisa. So no breakfast cereal. So we've come down to the beach bar in the evening, Saturday evening like you do. It's a bit buzzing, a bit lively, bar's open. And what's going on? There's a wedding going on. So there's a wedding going on, everyone's having fun. It's all good. The dogs are getting lots of fusses. Dizzy. Dizzy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Dolly. Dolly. Dolly, baby. You're a good girl. She's so excited. So, so. There's, there's, there's people everywhere. There's people everywhere. Oh, Dad, I want to go see her. Dolly. Oh, she had one. What about Dolly? Put it on the floor. No good, no? She won't touch it. She doesn't even eat. But it's safe if it's given to her. No. Oh, she's not in her Of course she is. She's coming up. She's not in this dinner. <laughs> Come here. 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 Ha, 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 ha.
Quickly. Smell your fingers. No, have a sniff. No. Quickly. No. I put cod oil on them. Salmon oil. It did as well. <laughs> All I can smell there is seafood. It smells amazing. Yeah, it really does. He's there. He just ducked under that big wave, but he's on it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Me doing what I like the best, cooking in my motorhome with a glass of vino. Cheers. Me doing what I like best in my motorhome. With a pint of beer. And eating. Eating. And editing. Cheers. Diesel doing what likes best in his motorhome, sniffing food and pretending to sleep. Dolly doing what she likes best in her motorhome, laying on the rug, sniffing food. Cheers. The roundabout takes the second exit to our middle of plage. We are on our way to Espana. Just left the air. What we thought would be a complicated payment process as there was a big queue and people were taking ages in front of us, having issues. Good old trusty NatWest got us straight out. Lovely little place to stay. Beautiful weather again today. Let's see what holds for us in the uh, right train. Onto Here we go. Bonjour. Yeah, look, the border's halfway over this river. Yeah. Au revoir, France. You've been At the wonderful. Take the second exit. We're off to cloudy, rainy Spain. The border. That's it, it's the border. Okay, it. We're on the border. Well, there we go. Creeping into Spain. Police stops. Who are they stopping? Iran. You don't show passports or anything? No, unless they stop you and ask. At the roundabout. Take the second exit to Arbeni That's now Spanish. Right now, I can say it's a toll. Yeah, it's Spain. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that is a Spain. Aaron. Country number. Yeah. Right, 
it feels really different, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels really <laughs> spawny. Oh, fuel. I wonder how much it is. <laughs> Spanish. See, si. Espana. Because I don't tell you in Spain how much the fuel price is. Oh, yes, I do. At the roundabout, oh, take the first exit to GI six thirty six. Right, we're in. We're in Spain, puppy.